So the new update is out for the Rising OS lovers. This is Rising OS 4.0 and as expectedly this update brings you some new changes which you might gonna love for sure. This update has some great features, some new UI changes and a lot more things so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. This is Rising OS version 4.0, a big update you can say because from past few days, basically past few weeks, we did not saw any new update from Rising OS. So we finally have a new update available after some time based on the July security patch, which was expected. It's based on the latest Android version, Android 14. The about phone UI as expectedly is a little bit changed, not a big change here, but you will see some changes here in the settings UI. In settings UI, you can see, you can directly able to notice here, display, wallpaper and style, these options are available. But network and internet, these things are available as a tiles, you can see. These are available in tab section or in the tiles section. These are available at just top. Other things are available here. So a little bit settings UI redesign, which might be user specific. I mean, if you, this could be like, if you love it, it's good. If you don't, you do not have the option to change it because some major changes are here. One of the another change I found here is in the game space. If you're able to notice here, if you try to open this, now you can launch any app in the floating window while using game space. So that's actually quite amazing. I'm just using this kernel SU as an example. You can change the actions very easily. As you can see, if I click on settings, I can easily launch any app in the split screen window or you can see not actually a split screen window, but you can see the floating window. So this is looking good. This is looking not bad here. And yes, how you can modify this. Other things are just kind of same here. As you can see, the UI is same like other game space kind of things that you have available in some other customers custom rooms already simply move on to the game space options here you will find some options if you move on to the bottom of this you can see you have the option named as quick start apps so if i click here i can choose these apps these are the apps which i have available right now if you install some more apps you will get a lot more extra apps and you can choose any of the apps if in case you want to and of course you have the option to choose this game space to be enabled in which of the apps Another thing is regarding the lock screen, which was kind of really expected. Rising OS already have a very good lock screen UI. And with this new update, we have some new changes here. So for example, if you use a custom clock, but unlike some other device, unlike some other custom rooms, you can also customize the fonts for that custom clock. So that is quite amazing. Like as you can see, this is the Oxygen OS style clock oxygen style lock screen clock here but you can also change the font for that specific custom clock some custom clocks will not be able to support these kind of fonts for sure you already have that pop up there but some of the clock fonts some of the clocks some of the custom clocks can be easily configured can be easily customized with a custom font so that is just quite amazing and to be very honest i think so this could be a unique thing because i did not find anything related to that in any other custom room at least while making this video but maybe after this update some other custom rooms might definitely apply this but for now while making this video i found this thing is available in the rising os including that we already have nothing OS inspired ui i mean to say some widgets already included in the lock screen some of these widgets are good you have the option for big widget one and two and some other small widgets so that's good here you also have the option to enable user switcher if you use multiple users on a device that could be easy for you to switch between them directly from the lock screen and it's available in some other custom rooms already like recently i made a video on everest os it was good it was having a lot of customizations in the terms of ui2 rising os is absolutely amazing as you can see also have some options related to colors other things are kind of same here but you can see we have reality display engine which simply change the colors of your device and it depends which kind of UI, which kind of colors you like on your device. So according to you, according to your preference, choose. Everything else is just literally same. These are things available there. And yes, by the way, it is not having the Autos launcher. It's now having Pixel launcher. So circle to search might work depending upon which device you're using, but everything else is same here. Already having a lot of customizations, you know, I made a video already on Rising OS, which is having some new UI changes and a lot, and, and a lot more things. If you want to know more about this custom room, I will recommend you to install this and check out. This is all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.